Police investigating a bomb scare at the magistrate's court. An FNM MP weighs out his options for the next election. And the Highway Church of God hosts its 56th assembly. Good evening, everyone. I'm Leah Cooper with your JCN News for this Thursday, February 18th. Magistrates, court, officials, prisoners, and others were forced to evacuate the Nassau Street Court complex following an apparent bomb scare this morning. Police telling reporters on the scene that shortly after 9 a.m. they received reports of the bomb threat at the courthouse. Here's police press liaison officer, Assistant Superintendent Audley Peters, with more details. Officers from the bomb technician were dispatched to the scene. A sweep of the building was conducted along with the use of the drug dog, the bomb dogs. And following that sweep, the building was uh, determined to be cleared of any uh, suspicious items or any bomb related matter. Seven magistrates were present in the complex at the time, including Assistant Chief Magistrate Shubasola Swain and Deputy Chief Andrew Forbes asked what message he has for the public who may find making threats such as this humorous. ASP Peters says this. This is a serious matter and we discourage individuals from making false reports or causing a public terror. They are offenses for which persons could be uh, charged and put, brought before the court for fines and imprisonment upon conviction. It is a serious matter. ASP Peters notes that prisoners who were brought down from the Bahamas Department of Corrections for court appearances were relocated during the sweep of the building. There are no leads at the moment. However, officers are in the process of tracing the origin of the call. Court was able to resume after police concluded their investigations. In crime news, police nabbing two male suspects for their part in an alleged armed robbery last evening. Police in their morning report say the prompt response by the police officers resulted in the arrest. According to the report, shortly after 7 p.m., a female was walking along Robinson Road in the vicinity of Jenny Street when she was accosted by two males, one of whom was armed with what she believed to be a firearm and robbed her of her purse containing cash and other personal items. A description of the suspects was relayed to units patrolling the area. Officers responded and while in the area, arrested two male suspects fitting the description. Meantime, shortly before 8 a.m., while on routine mobile patrol on Joe Farrington Road, officers from the operations unit observed a male acting suspicious. The suspect was approached and informed of the reason for the encounter. A field search was conducted, and as a result, one of the officers retrieved a black pistol from the waist of the suspect. He was arrested and taken into custody. Investigations into this matter continue. Four digital billboards are up across New Providence that will be used to send out warnings or messages about missing children. All a part of the Marco Alert System, Prime Minister Dr. Hubert Minnis, while beginning the remarks at the opening of the Royal Bahamas Police Force's real-time crime center, says the system will allow for immediate and mandatory response to rescue a child who has been reported missing. Our digital dashboards will facilitate the Marcos Alert System to broadcast important messages about a missing child at the Linden Pendling International Airport, the junction of Chippingham Road and West Bay Street, RM Bailey Park and CCCC, SC McPherson School on Blue Hill Road. And such technologies allow law enforcement officers to respond to crime events more efficiently, more deliberately, with improved operational intelligence and with a proactive emphasis on citizen, community and officer safety. And while the system is still not fully up and running and there is no definitive timeline on when it will be, National Security Minister Marvin Dame says software for the system was recently approved by Cabinet. Software that will play an important role in putting out information once the system is operational. And you can see the billboards up throughout New Providence. And the Cabinet would have recently, a few weeks ago, approved the 
acquisition of software that will allow us to on a minute's notice to disseminate information wherever we want, however we want, as quickly as we want. And if we want to ring fence that information, meaning that if there is a situation on Abaco and that it's solely related to Abaco, if we want to send, send it to everyone on Abaco, we can do that. Commissioner of Police Paul Roll on the sidelines of the event spoke to how the Marco Alert system will work once functioning. If something is germane to a specific area, you're in the mall, child goes missing, we can geofence the mall. Everybody in the mall will get a message. We're looking for this child, you see the child, but that message wouldn't come to someone out here. If it's something on a national level, that could go throughout the Commonwealth. In 2019, the National Security Minister revealed that the government had committed some $3 million over the past three years for Marco's Alert. As the COVID-19 pandemic continues to ravage the country, yet another largely attended event has been canceled. The National Family Island Regatta 2021 has been canceled for the second year in a row. This much coming from Chairman and Commodore for the Regatta Committee, Danny Strawn, in a press release. Commodore Danny Strawn says that he and his members concluded that this was in the best interest of the national requirement to comply with the government's advice to curtail large social gatherings, as all past regattas have bought together many thousands of persons in Georgetown, Exuma, on shore and on boats in the harbor in extremely close gatherings. According to Mr. Strawn, Minister of Agriculture and Marine Resources, Michael Pintard, supports their position for the cancellation. Last year, the Exuma Regatta was canceled for the first time in 67 years, and it has once again met the same fate this year. The committee holds out hope to hold a regatta next year. You're watching JCN News. Stay with us.